What's up, fam? It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood, and we're back on IE Network. This is the Heaven Hollywood Report, and let's get to it. I want to shout out to my new sponsor today. This video is sponsored by the Female Rap Report. Check them out, www.femalerapreport.com, and it is the ultimate destination for everything you need to know about what's happening in the world of female rap. Get ready to dive into the juiciest gossip and updates on your favorite female rap artists from their music to their fashion, loves, lives, and feuds. So that is www.femalerapreport.com. Check them out. I'm going to get this started off with your girl T. Swizzle and Travis Kelsey. So... Of course, rumors have been circulating over the last couple of months that Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift were seeing each other. I'm not going to say dating, but were seeing each other. So Travis uh, Kelsey recently was asked about this, and he basically said, you know, it is what it is. I'm not giving you anything about my personal life. You know, there's been rumors going around that he has went out on at least two dates with Taylor Swift. And he's quiet. they're quietly seeing each other just to see where it's going to go. But, of course, Travis isn't giving you anything. And by him saying that, uh, you know, I'm not telling you my personal life. You guys, I know what you guys want to hear, but I'm not going to give it to you. It's giving me either one or two things. Either he's just going along with the rumors for the clout, or they really are seeing each other. I heard that they have seen each other a couple of times. But we'll see how far this goes. So, are you going to be here for Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift? You know, Travis Kelsey, the Kansas City Chief, two-time Super Bowl champion. Let me know down in the comments whether you're here for T-Swizzle and T-Kelsey. <laughs> Speaking of Travis Kelsey, we're moving on to Megan Thee Stallion. And Megan Thee Stallion put out this TikTok video yesterday. So it looks as though Megan has uh, returned to social media. Um, she gave a thanks out to Cardi B for letting her be a part of Bongos. Um, she just, um, she's in the movie that's coming out. Plus, I, be I believe, what was it, uh, Big Mouth, I believe it's called, for the TV series. She's also got another movie coming at the top of 2024. And she's going to start back working on her solo project, at the end of this year. So from what I know, at the end of this year, she's going to start back to un and schedule that next album. I believe it'll probably be top of 2024. But she is definitely going to be on another song before this year is up. Um, I can't tell you what song it's going to be, but she's going to be on another song before this year is up. So shout out to Megan Thee Stallion. It's really good to see her back. She looks absolutely amazing. Oh, my God. But shout out to Meg Thee Stallion, man. Moving on to Tiana Taylor and Iman Shumpert. And as we made it clear to you long time before the announcement, Tiana Taylor and Iman Shumpert are separated. And they have been for months, as I let you know that already, and the blog, in case you didn't know, icydk.blog also let you know that months ago. And they were split up. If you didn't know they were split up, you knew during the whole Usher-Chris Brown fight or alleged fight. Because if the rumors were true about what, you know, what Chris Brown was saying to um, Tiana Taylor. Her husband, that's what he's there for. Her husband would have stepped up and said, yo, you don't be talking to my wife like that. But Iman Shumper was nowhere to be found. Maybe he was with one of these side chicks or one of these chicks he was creeping with. You know, uh, Iman Shumpert has been cheating on Tiana Taylor a long time. And I think Tiana Taylor knew about it because Tiana Taylor is more for the Goyles anyway. She likes the girls. And um, this uh, marriage was a lot, you know, there was a lot of it's giving beard, right? It's giving, it's giving beard. It's giving, you know, incognito relationship. I mean, 
you know, we've all known that about Tiana. Anyone in the circle knows that about Tiana Taylor. But it just so happens that Iman Shumpert, she invited women into the bedroom, and Iman Shumpert just tend to like one of them um, that she bring into the bedroom a little more than he liked his wife. I mean, so <laughs> she put that statement out there to let y'all know that it is true. The rumors are true. Her and Iman are no longer together. So everybody that was saying, oh, black love, cat love. <laughs> but we wish them the best, both Iman and Tiana, and it's a good thing they're able to co-parent. That's cool. And we're going to close it out with Slime Gate. We're going to close it out with Holly Berry and Drizzy Drake. Now, a lot of people are coming down on Holly Berry, but I'm I'm kind of I tend to be on Holly Berry's side on this one. What am I talking about? I'll tell you what I'm talking about. So Drake just came out with the record Slime You Out with SZA. Now, the front cover the cover art is Holly Berry when she got slimed on Nickelodeon. They use that for the cover art. Now, Holly Berry, somebody mentioned um, Drake using Holly Berry's picture for the cover art. And Holly Berry first responded, not cool. They, they said, well, you, what did you feel about it? Then she said, use my picture without permission. Not cool. But, you know, something along the lines of, guess I'll just get over it or whatever. Then, and when the fans started to attack her, oh, you, you're talking about you didn't get your permission, this, that, and then when the fans started attacking her, then she got even deeper with it and said that he did, because people were saying, oh, it's Getty Images, he really don't have to ask you. But then Holly Berry said, well, then why did he? And she put out there that Drake asked her to use the photo, and she said no. She then said that Drake went ahead and, and used it anyway. And her beef was, if you were going to use it anyway, why even mention it to me? Why even ask me? Why even ask me and I say no, and then you turn around and use it anyway? So she's about done with Drake. She's out and she said it really hurts when somebody that you admire and look up to do you dirty and disappoint you. So Drake has not responded back yet. Um, let me know down in the comments how you feel. I can see things both ways. The Drake fans saying, oh, well, there's Getty Images. He has to get who for, but that's Holly Berry's likeness. Even though they got slime on her face, it doesn't matter whether Getty Images has it. I would assume he'd have to get, um, you know, he's asking Holly Berry, you know, for her blessing or what have you. And she said, no. He should not have done the picture, in my opinion. Just out of respect, it's Holly Berry. We're not talking about Lil Mo. No, no disrespect on Lil Mo. But this is Holly freaking Berry. If she says don't use the picture, don't use the picture. Let me know down in the comments what you think. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the IE Network. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And I didn't mean Lil Mo. I meant to say Lil Mama. So Lil Mo, that's my people. Don't nobody try to start nothing. I didn't mean no more.